Welcome back again to the DFS Den. Dave Eddie here, a.k.a. Corporal Eddie on Twitter. Back here for the second video of the day. This one's going to cover the main slate. So we've got, like I said earlier in the early slate video, we've got this slate broken up a little bit, um, kind of evenly between this early and main slate. But um, here we are, and let's do this one. So yesterday, uh, nobody got the word of the day, and it was actually traffic. So pay attention today and uh, see if you can pick up on the word of the day. And if you think you have, go ahead and comment on this, or you can go ahead and throw it on my Twitter post as well, and let's see who can get the word of the day correct. But let's hop into things here. And stack-wise, I'm looking at a team that I've advocated for quite a bit. I'm looking at the Milwaukee Brewers. They are in Pittsburgh going up against Tyler Beatty, so nothing there to be worried about. Um, I mean, I had advocated for Christian Yelich yesterday, and Christian Yelich had a nice, he had a two-hit effort, so not a lot of not a lot of points, but a nice little two-hit effort for us to, to still get us on the board. And he definitely could be in play today. It's a lefty versus righty there. He's going to be hitting at the top of the order. But I'm looking at Colton Wong for uh, my top hitter here. He's got a hit in six straight games, and he's got a hit in 10 of his last 11. So this is the guy, like I said, hit in the middle of the order, and he's been putting up a lot of points here lately. I uh, had a home run yesterday as well, so that's where I'm looking to go. And then as far as hitter, um, on the other side, outside of the stack, I'm looking at Albert Pujols. And the main reason for Pujols here is that, you know, Milwaukee's not going to be a cheap team to stack, and you know that we're never going to go cheap on pitching. So we got to save money somewhere. And Pujols is nice and cheap, but he's also – been pretty good lately and he's got a righty versus lefty matchup he's actually got a hit in nine of his last 11 games so he's a guy that you know could definitely get us some points and he's gonna be hitting in the middle of that order so you know really good chance there to save some money he does check all the boxes for us and gives us some salary relief so i like it as far as pitching we start at the top um almost as always shohei otani he's going up against oakland um oakland is terrible Otani has been amazing. He has double-digit strikeouts in his last six games. No, I I apologize. No, in his last six games, he's got double-digit strikeouts. Been going at least six innings, so no reason not to expect six innings and, you know, at least 10 strikeouts from him. And then I'm going Miles Michaelis of the Cardinals, so I'm kind of double-dipping here on the Cardinals. I've got Pujols, I've got uh, Michaelis, but St. Louis has got a little bit of a soft spot in my heart. My first shot at tequila happened in St. Louis uh, when I was in the Marine Corps. So I always kind of have a little fondness there for St. Louis. But Michaelis, like I said, going up against the Cubs, nothing like crazy special here. Um, You know, he's a guy who's probably going to, at least lately, he's been getting us at least six innings. Um, So that's that's good. He's not going to strike out a ton. I'm expecting six innings, four strikeouts. Probably should get you the win. Saves you a little bit of money. It's kind of right in the middle there as far as pricing is concerned. But there's a few other options. I mean, Freddie Peralta, you could take a shot on. We don't know what his pitch count's going to look like. And Blake Snell can be really hit or miss. But Mike List is where I like to go. If you haven't done so already, pop on over here. You can subscribe to the channel. you got to turn on those notifications so that you get alerts when these videos come out so you can watch them right away. And go ahead and throw some likes on this as well if you've been enjoying this video or any of the others. And comment what you think the word of the day was. We'll see everyone tomorrow.